Hey guys, what's up? My name is Farza, and today we're going to talk about something called strings. So, right now, if I ask you guys to store some English word, like the word faker, for example, um, you wouldn't know how to do that right now, right? Because we have not, we, right now we have only covered how to store ver uh, numbers, right? We covered how to store integers, we covered how to store floats. Those are the only two variable types we've covered so far. Let's cover a new variable type today called a char. So, a char is a single character. It can be a letter, like the letter P, like the letter U. It can be some symbol, like a slash symbol. Um, it can be like this symbol. It can be whatever you want. It's just one character. And it's not an entire word, okay? That's very important to understand. It's just one symbol. So, like, just... If we can't store the word faker in a char, for example, right? It's we can just store like the letter F or the letter A or the letter K. So let's say we wanted to well, let's declare our first char here. Let's just see how they work. So let's say I wanted to spell out TSM, right? So to do that, I would first have to make I would have to make three chars, right? I have to make a char for the T, the S, and the M. So that's three chars. Let's do that. Let's declare our first char. We'll call it T. And notice how I'm uh, declaring. First, I declare this variable like normal. Uh, it's and it has the keyword char, so that's how the computer knows it's a char. We give it a name, like just like we do with it. And just just for reference, this is how we declare an integer. Some number. So you know, to declare an integer, you say it's an int, and you give it a name. A char works the same way. You say it's a char, you give it a name, and then we set it equal to something here. So you know, it, we give it a value. And uh, we set uh, a char equal to something by using these single quotation marks. So double quotation marks are sort of reserved for strings, and we'll see that later. Oh, sorry. But a chars, for chars, we use these single quotes. That's how we know it's just a single letter or some single character. Let's do our second char now. We're going to set it equal to the S. And finally, our third char. By the way, if you guys don't know what TSM is, it's it's a league team. <laughs> so, if you're confused as to why I chose the letters TSM, and so now let's print these let, let's print these values out. Let's let's see what we get. So, for to, if, if we wanted to print out an integer, right, we do percent D. If we wanted to print out a float, we do a percent F. So to print out a char, the conversion code is percent C. And we have to specify what char we're talking about. So, you know, we're first talking about the first char. So this is only going to print out one character. It's going to print out the letter T. And you see that right here. Oh, wait. i got to comment this stuff out. That's for later. So right now, this only gives us the letter T. i got to build and run. The letter T right there. You see that? It just gives us the single T. So we have to actually copy and paste this three times since we have three characters. First char, second char, third char. Build and run. And now we spell that TSM. So, this is how you store single characters. But we, let's say we want to store entire words, entire paragraphs, right? Let's, let's say we wanted to store the word League of Legends. We, we, we're not going to make um, a variable for each letter in League of Legends, right? We're, we're going to... That would just be dumb, right? We, that would we'd have so many just single char v values. And, you know, like I said, like I've been saying, we want to figure out sophisticated ways to store information and, you know, have, and have access to it in a very organized manner. So this brings us to our conversation about strings. And all a string is, is it's an array of characters. So we talked about what, what an array is. We talked about an integer array. And let's, let's roll back a little bit. This is an integer array with six spaces. It has one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, and we start counting from zero up. So it has five indexes. So this array holds integer values right now. This, let, let's, just, let's just say this int array. This is an int array right here. And it's just holding, and it can only hold integer values. But let's say we wanted to store an actual word like the word faker or something, right? If we want to store the word faker, we have to have an array of characters. So 
a letter would go here, 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 and the combination of letters in the array would make up the actual word. So let's look into it a little more. Let's say I did this. First, let's, first let's declare our character array. So you know, declare to just to roll back again to declare an int array. We just do that, right? That's how we declare an int array. Well, to do a character array, it's very similar. We would do character best player array. So this is going to store the the name of the best player, right? So we're going to have Faker, who is known to be like the best league player of all time, right? So it's going to store Faker. Cool. So let me see here. So let's uh, let's think about it, right? So if we have an array of characters, we're going to have one letter of Faker's name in every single little little index, right? So we're going to have an F here. We're going to have an A here. We're going to have a K here. We're going to have an A here. We're going to have an R here. So we, we don't know what's there yet, all right? So the weird thing about strings is they need an extra space at the end to tell our program that it's over, that the string is, is done. And the way we do that is we use something called a backslash zero. Backslash zero. And what this backslash zero does is it tells our computer that this string is over. So we actually need an extra spot in our array to hold this backslash zero. And let's keep talking about it, and I feel like you eventually get it. It might be a little confusing to you right now, but basically it's there to tell our computer that, hey, our string is over, and that's, that's all there is to it. So let's say we want to declare, let's say we want to do this now. We want to put the word faker in our character array. Well, it's very simple. We need one, two, three, four, five, six spots. So the word faker might have five letters, but we need one extra spot to hold our terminating character. That's what it's called, a terminating character. So we're going to need six spots, right? And we want to set this equal to the word faker. So that's very simple. We just write in faker. And that's all there is to it. So we have five letters. But then we have one extra space for that null terminating character. Now let's print this out. Let's see, let's see what we get. Let's see how we do that. So to print out a character array, we don't use percent %c. Percent %c is the conversion code for a character. We want to print out the entire string. So we're going to use the conversion code percent %s. And we're going to specify that we're talking about best player. And we basically give it the entire array. We don't say, hey, give us like array three. We, we give it the entire array because we want the entire array. And basically what our computer will do, it'll go to best player and it'll print out. It'll, it'll be like, all right, let's start here. Print out the F, print out the A, the K, the E, and the R. Oh, we hit a backslash zero. Stop right there. The string is over. That's what this is, that's what this is pretty much used for. It's, it's how our computer will know that it's over. The string is no more. And let's run this. Let's see what we get. We should get the word faker. Oh, once again, this is not allowed. It's kind of annoying, actually. All right, build and run. And we get the word faker right there. Awesome. So let's go through, let's print this out another way. Let's make sure that we truly understand that this is an array of characters. That this is this is not just a word in our computer. It's not stored as just the word faker. It's stored as uh, it's stored as characters. It's stored as F A K K E R in different spots. So now that we've actually oh, let me take this out. So now that we've actually you know, we have some knowledge about how the word like character arrays work and how this word faker looks inside our computer. Oh, by the way, this should be char array. This is not an integer array, this is a char array, an array of characters. So now that we know, you know how this word, the word faker, looks in our computer, it looks like this, and it has this null terminating character, let's print this out char by char. We should be able to, right? So previously, we printed out the entire string at once. Let's say we wanted to go char by char in our index, in our array, by each index, and print out one letter at a time. So what would we use for that? How do we do that? Well, you could do, well, we could do this. We could do printf percent %c um, best player at zero. 
and we can repeat this for all the characters in the array. And by the way, if you don't understand what this means, this is basically going to best player. It's going to the zeroth index, the zeroth index, which is right here, the zero index, and it's getting, it's grabbing the, the letter F, and it's printing out the character F. Because remember, it's just an array of characters, so we're using the conversion code percent %c since we're grabbing that character. But let's, we're not, this doesn't seem like a very good way to do it, right? This, we have to go through every single one. One, two, three, four, five spaces. And we're not going to print this out. This is just a null terminating character. So we're going to have five print statements. And that doesn't seem very efficient. That's kind of a waste of space. We, and we know, we already know a better way to do this. And we're going to use a for loop. And the reason we use a for loop over a while loop is because the for loop knows how many times it runs. It runs a specific number of times. A while loop it's um it's it runs when you don't necessarily know how many times you need to run or when your condition will be met but for loop we know our condition will be met in a certain number of iterations so let's let's write out a for loop oh, by the way i declared int i up here int i because our for loop needs a variable to work with right so first we initialize our variable and we're going to set i equal to zero so if we want to start at the zeroth index and how far do we want to go in our array we want to go to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots, right? We want to go 5 spots in. 5 spots. And we want to do I++. Because we want to go, and we do I++ because we want to go, it just adds 1 to I every time. And we want to go index by index. So, and if you don't get this right now, I feel like you'll get it, you know, within like 2 minutes. So don't worry too much. So now we want to print out character by character, right? How do we do that now? Well, we're only going to use a single printf to print out each character. Let me, see, let me show you what I mean. We're going to use percent %c, and we're going to say, hey, hey, go to best player at index i, at index i. And since this is a for loop, it'll first go to the zeroth index, it'll grab the f and print it. Then it'll plus plus, it'll go to the first index, it'll grab the a, it'll print it, and then it'll plus plus again, it'll go to the second index, it'll grab the k. And it'll stop when we hit the fifth index. At the fifth index, our our uh, our condition is going to read this, and that's not true, right? So when we hit the fifth little box here, the fifth index, this is all going to cancel, and we're not going to print this little null character out. So let's see what we get here. We should get the same thing, actually. Oh my God! Once again, I need to find a better way to do that. All right, let's do this here. And we get the word faker again, but this time we didn't print it out using percent %c, we print, using percent %s. We printed it out using percent %c, and we used a for loop. And if you understand this for loop and how it works, then you truly understand how, this, how the word faker is, uh, look, how, how the word faker looks inside your array. Because we're simply going char by char by each index, we're going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're printing it out. That specific char at that specific index in our array of characters. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, as always, let me know and I will be happy to answer them and I'll see you guys later.